Evening, Hotep Kings and Queens. Welcome, Welcome to the, the first episode of the show Did You Know Lectures, where we share ancient African history and we enlighten our black brothers and sisters. Let's forget about Christopher Columbus a moment and let's forget about the 1652 Jean van Riebeck invasion for a moment. Africa was invaded half a century even before Christopher Columbus crossed the Atlantic into America. But no one talks about that invasion. The year is 1441 and a Portuguese group of sailors are being led by a man by the name of Antam Gonjalves. This man leads a team of Christian missionaries who are sent by Prince Henry at the time. So the main instruction is given to Antam Gonzalez, but the instruction comes from a guy who is named Prince Henry. This is in 1441. So Prince Henry gives a mandate to this so-called Antam Gonzalez to go to the west coast of Africa in a place called Cape Bajado. This is 300 miles north of Senegal. This group of Portuguese Christian missionaries arrive on African soil. They find a tribe of black African kings and queens as we are welcoming African people with our humility. We invite these people in and we start having conversations with these people. Believe it or not, this group of sailors captures 10 black people, women, children and men, and they put them on a ship back to Lisbon to be given to Prince Henry as a gift. These 10 skilled laborers, we already had the Sphinx, we already had the pyramids. Africa was already sailing overseas with our kings like Abu Bakr II. Africa was already civilized in 1441. And this is why these Portuguese came to Africa and they captured our own black genius. These people were donated to Prince Henry as the first true black slaves. So in essence, in 1441, this is when the actual black slave trade begins under the Christian rule. This is an instruction by the prince who was a Christian leader. And to prove this, Prince Henry used these 10 skilled laborers and loved them so much that he donated these 10 skilled laborers to Pope Eugene. So Pope Eugene gets donated 10 black skilled laborers who he loves so much that in return, Pope Eugene gives to Prince Henry the title right deeds to any land in Africa when Prince Henry goes back to the same land to capture more black people as slaves to be sent back to Portugal in Lisbon under the instruction of Pope Eugene. Who gave these rights to Pope Eugene so that Prince Henry can come to Africa and capture even more black people, enslave them and forcefully convert them into Christianity. Twelve years after Pope Eugene had given title right dates to Prince Henry, another amazing thing happened when they say history repeats itself. In the year 1453, another so-called Pope, now Pope Nicholas V. Now this man reapplies the same strategy that was implemented 12 years before by his predecessor. Pope Eugene IV. So Pope Nicholas V now goes and instructs his other Christian missionaries. And amongst the things that he says, this is what King Anfonso of Portugal says. He says, free and full power is given to the aforesaid King Anfonso to invade, search out, capture, vanquish, and subdue all Saracens. These are black pagans 
non-believers of Christianity. That would include us and other enemies of Christ anywhere and to destroy or take possession of their kingdoms, dukedoms, principalities, dominions, possessions, and all movable and immovable goods whatsoever held and possessed by them and to reduce their persons to perpetual slavery and to appropriate to himself and his successors those kingdoms, dukedoms, countries, principalities, dominions, possessions, and goods and to convert them to his and to their use and profit. This is the instruction by Pope Nicholas V so that his Christian missionaries still continue 12 years later the same mission of the black slave trade to capture our own black people and to enslave them and to forcefully convert them into Christianity and to make them forget about their ancestors and their true wealth of where they come from as black people. Catch this in the next episode of the So Did You Know Lecture. So, before any African invasion happened, the Portuguese and other European clergy members sat with their membership and meetings were had and speeches were shared amongst those organizations. A Belgian king, as an example, called King Leopard II. This is back in 1883 in Belgium. This man sits with his compatriots and he shares this speech with them prior to their departure to Africa. Please support our Sons of Assur channel. You know we're bringing light, like, because you care, share, and don't wait another moment. Comment, so tribe, subscribe. Thank you.